How you doing, everybody? I'm here again, and I've had a pretty good day. Um, praise report, of course, like I told you. I'm going to have it orderly and in good fashion. Um, I have an interview with Outback Steakhouse on Thursday, and I have an interview tomorrow with a telemarketing com company called Aegis. Um, I have to take an assessment test or whatever. I don't know if I like it, but... You know, I'll go take a test and do all that I need to do so I can possibly have a job. Um, first thing I want to talk about is uh, Twitter. Uh, Twitter was popping definitely today. Um, high school confession, college confession was off the chain. Um, it, it brought back a lot of memories. I got to talk to a lot of people I go to high school with. I mean, I went to high school with um, because I followed them, but, you know, no, 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 we don't always talk like that, you know. So it was pretty good to uh, <laughs> talk about some of the good times in high school because I did everything. I knew everybody. I was a cool nerd because I had like a 4.1 until I got senioritis my senior year. Um, <clears throat> and, of course, the boo thing was going off on that, too. Everybody was going in on that... Um, on that topic so it was it was really good i loved it and then of course um the president of subtweeting shout out to keisha my girlfriend um she wanted to <laughs> subtweet me the whole time talking mess and like you know you know i, I was i was kind of done with all the high school confession and college confession so i i posted a life confession and I was like, you know, I'm, I've am i been just effing up my life lately. I'm losing my girlfriend. I lost my job being stupid at work. And, you know, I've shit on my school. I mean, I've, sh I've shit on my education and everything. And it's just like, <laughs> what am I doing? Like, when is it going to get better? And I mean, you know, I've been asking that for the past three days. When is it going to get better? And clearly it is. I just ain't you know saying hey it's getting better but i'll say to you all it's getting better <laughs> definitely um I'm, I'm hoping this is the last week i have to go to interviews and all that good stuff because it's, it's hard to get a job but i really i really really want to get a job <laughs> i need, i got bills i definitely want to have some type of money in my pocket and i would like to send my girlfriend some flowers or just drive down there and surprise her you know <clears throat> I'm hoping that doesn't give her any hints, because uh, I guess she'll be expecting me once I get a job, which she should, because I will definitely be down there. Um, uh, but yeah, she was subtweeting me <laughs> and talking shit the whole time, and I was doing the same. Um, you know, and I and I, we was pretty much cutting up. She was laughing. I'm sure, you know, she enjoyed it. Um, <laughs> I. Uh, I just kept saying, you know, silly stuff, and of course she cut up right back. And she was talking shit to me right back. Um, she was pretty much saying, I, "I, oh, I took the bait and all this and that." And I'm just like, "Girl, please, you know that you love cutting up with me, so just quit it." <laughs> because I love cutting up with her, and I tweeted, I was like, "Well, god damn it, I miss cutting up with you. Like, what the fuck have I done? Why in the world did I do this? I must be a real stupid dude." A real dumb dude, and then uh, she <laughs> she tweeted um, you big dummy, Sanford and Son. So I just got done watching like four or five episodes of Sanford and Son, and I just cracked up. You know, there's we don't have that type of comedy anymore. That's old comedy, and it's just like you crack up no matter what. It's the simplest stuff. You know, first episode that I watched when Lamont walked in. Everybody was in the audience was clapping, and because they were rec recorded, you know, in front of a live audience, and I'm like, you know, hmm, there's no shows like that no more. People don't clap before, you know. <clears throat> I mean, right, right as a a star actor walks into the door or walks into the scene, and it's just like, <laughs> what is happening? Because that that's that's a pretty great thing to you know. You walk into a scene and everybody clapping. <laughs> you don't want to, 
get out of character and be like, oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. But, you know, that's just that just makes you feel good. That gives you a lot of confidence and knowing, and knowing that you have fans and that you're doing a good job. But, um, yeah, college confessions, high school confessions was great. The queen and president of subtweeting, Kishel, was just on it today. You know, Sanford and Sub was pretty great. <coughs> um, one of the, one of the lines of the episode was, um, they got somebody to do the taxes for him, and he was like, "Well, you owe me twenty dollars, or you can pay me ten on the account." And Fred Sanford, A.K.A. Red Fox, said, uh, "I'll give you five across your lips." <laughs> and that just made me really crack up. Really, really made me crack up. But um, uh, before I went in applied for a job at Outback Steakhouse and uh, took their little assessment or whatever. I wrote a note saying, um, well, entitled, not happy without you. And it was good. Really good. Um, as you can see, I've been writing notes every day for her, which I think makes her feel good. Makes her, you know, lets her know that I'm not giving up. I'm not, you know... <coughs> being no punk I'm not being no bitch about everything because I caused it and you know she bashes me and talks down about me and ignores me and just you know all that good stuff but I really I can really tell that she cares she cares a lot because she pays attention and everything matters still like you know my cousin commented on the note today and was like, you know, well, here it is right here. God is, I mean, God made man from dust. So plow, work for it, <laughs> just like that. But with Eve, he took his time sculpting, nurturing, sugar and spice, you know. See, we men have it in our DNA to want that quick fix. And that's what I did. I had sex with a girl just because. It was like, you know, I didn't think about the consequences. I didn't consider Kishel's feelings. I didn't consider anything. It was just like, hmm. Well, she wants me to have sex with her. I told her no three times the first time. But I gave in. I was like, well, hmm. Hey. Which is wrong on my part, but I did it. I can't take it back. I can't. All I can do is work to get that second chance and show her that, no, I'm not going to do it again. She shouldn't be scared that I'm going to do it again. But, you know, <clears throat> he was saying, you know, men want that quick fix, and our rib isn't built that way. And he said all that to say, breathe, take your time, don't know it all. I mean, I don't know. It. He doesn't know it all. Um, but he's made enough mistakes to share that little something something with me. So trust him that everything's gonna work out and believe in myself and make sure I follow him. So, you know, I was kind of down about it. It was just like, God damn, she ain't, she ain't answering my phone calls. She ain't doing nothing that I can just be like, okay. <sighs> I can just release and be like, uh, I love her so much. But, you know, she wrote and uh, she always writes so beautifully. She says she can't write, she can't, you know, do all this and that. And um, her note was entitled, Who Can I Run To? And I commented saying, You are a beautiful writer and I never want you to stop. This is one of your many gifts. Matter of fact, writing is a gift of mine and yours. Keep doing it, please. I love you. Tig. And she calls me that. She doesn't call me that no more. She don't tell me she love me. None of that. Which is my fault. But, you know, I, I take it one day at a time. But, um, I know she still cares. I know she still loves me. As I've been saying, I know she's going to give me a second chance. She just doesn't want to show any of that. You know, and she was subtweeting, talking about she was being mean for, you know, getting my hopes up. But I know that all that's true. So just keep praying for us. Keep praying for me. Keep praying for her. I love you guys. Hit me on Twitter and Facebook. I'll see y'all tomorrow. Bye.